Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to solve the given equations by row equivalent matrix method. So we have a three equations and we have to solve by row equivalent matrix method. So let's take a start. First of all, we have to write this equation in augmented matrix. So the augmented matrix form matrix is just we have to write on the coefficient of x coefficient of y and coefficient of z what is the coefficient of x here in front of x here is nothing then we have to write on one coefficient of y is we have to take minus one we have to take with sign and coefficient of z is two so we have to write on two similarly here constant number is zero so we can write here zero what is the coefficient of x one so we have to write one coefficient of y is minus two so we have to write here minus two and coefficient of z is three so we have to write here three and here after equal is minus one means constant number is minus one so we have to write on minus one similarly we have to take third equation in third equation what is the coefficient of x two so we have to write here two coefficient of y is minus two so we have to write here minus two and the coefficient of z is one so we have to write here one and the constant number is minus three minus three always we have to convert this in the form of identity matrix it means one zero 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 one zero 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 one let's write here we have to convert in the form of one zero 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 one zero 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 one and this is the value of x this one is value of y and this one is value of z we have to convert this augmented matrix in this form you can see here we first of all we have to convert this one now you have see that here already we have one now next we have to this convert in the form of zero now we have to convert this one in the form of zero how to convert we have to take help of first row if you subtract this first row because a row equivalent matrix method means always we have to use row only if you subtract this first and second row we get here zero and how to convert this one zero we need here zero so when you multiply this one by two what happened two into one two and when you subtract here from two we get zero so let's convert this and this part in the form of zero by applying formula so what we have to write here uh, first uh, write on same first row two and here zero second row one minus one zero what we are applying here r2 tends to r2 minus r1 from r2 we have to subtract r1 from r2 we have to subtract one one minus one zero now here minus two minus minus plus one so minus two plus one we get here minus one three minus two we get here one and here minus one minus zero we get minus one now you can see here here we have zero we need here zero now this one we have to make zero this two we have to convert in the form of zero so we have to apply r3 tends to r3 minus 2 r1 when you multiply this r1 by 2 what happened 2 into 1 2 and we have to subtract here so let's multiply this this whole by 2 2 into 1 2 and subtract from 2 we get 0 when you multiply this by 2 what happened 2 into minus 1 minus 2 and subtract here minus minus plus so this also we get here zero only so let's write on zero similarly this we have to multiply by two two into two four one minus four we get here minus three and here also we have to multiply by two two into zero zero and minus three minus zero means minus three hope you understand up to here now look at here properly one zero zero one zero zero already this also we need zero already here zero now here we need one here we need one how to get here one when you divide by minus three we get one or not we get one and here when you multiply by minus one we get here one also let's do it here what we have to do we have to multiply by minus one when you multiply by minus one this part we get here one so r1 we have to write on same first row 1 minus 1 2 and here 0 we need here 1 if we need 1 we have to multiply by what minus 1 so when you multiply minus 1 what happens 0 into minus 1 0 minus 1 into minus 1 we get here 1 1 into minus 1 we get minus 1 and when you multiply by minus 1 we get here 1 what we done in r2 what we applied here r2 tends to minus 1 r2 row second row we multiplied by minus 1 look at here 0 into minus 1 0 
okay minus one into minus one 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 into minus one minus one minus one and minus one one similarly here we need what one we need one so we have to divide by minus three so let's apply r3 tends to minus one by three r3 so row three we have to divide by minus 3 when you divide by minus 3 we get 0 when you divide by minus 3 we get 0 when you divide by minus 3 we get 1 and when you divide by minus 3 we get here 1 hope you understand up to here now look at once here 1 0 0 we already have here we need 0 how to get 0 when you add this to we minus 1 plus 1 what happened we get here 0 okay here also we need 0 so how to get here 0 when you add this to minus 1 plus 1 row 2 and row 3 here also we get 0 and here we need 1 let's first do it now in next step what we have to do row 2 and row 3 row 1 we have to add first write on here when you add this to 1 plus 0 1 when you add this to we get minus 1 plus 1 we get here 0 when you add this to 2 minus 1 we get here 1 and when you add this to we get here what 0 plus 1 we get here 1 what we done here r1 tends to r1 plus r3 we done up to here okay now here also we need 0 so what we done we have to add this to when you add this to we get here zero let's add so r2 tends to r2 plus r3 here r1 plus r2 so let's add zero plus zero we get here zero one plus zero we get here one one minus one plus one we get here zero and when you add this to we get here two and last one we have to write down same zero zero one and here one hope you understand up to here we have to convert in the form of 1 0 0 now this we have to convert in the form of 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 in the form of identity matrix now this how to convert this in the form of 0 so when you subtract this two we get here 0 or not let's subtract when you subtract first row and third row always we have to use row only if you subtract first row and third row we get here 0 let's subtract it 1 minus 0 we get here 1 0 minus 0 here 0 1 minus 1 we get here 0 and 1 minus 1 we get here 0 okay second and third row we have to write down same 0 1 0 and here 2 then 0 0 1 and here we have 1 so what we done here r1 tends to r1 minus r2 from r1 we oh, sorry we subtracted r3 r3 row 3 we subtracted yes so we get here 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 always we have to convert in the form of identity matrix therefore what is the value of x x is equal to this one 0 y is equal to here 2 we have 2 and z is equal to 1 so this one is the answer x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 hope you understand this video if you understand please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please consider subscribe do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos too. Thanks for watching till last. Keep supporting and keep sharing with your friends.